So I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, and it is going to be a guide on sort of low to mid-level Iron Man runecrafting. And uh, uses his fairy rings, and it also uses rune pouch as well as uh, day old essence, but you can use pure essence as well, um, and uh, as well as a little bit of rune light. So uh, I'm running through a run now as we speak, but... <clears throat> To cover some of the basics, I would highly recommend that you have rune pouches. I would also recommend doing day old essence so that you get a nice little bit of XP while you're doing this. Um, I'm only currently 54 rune crafting, but the XP is actually noticeable uh, at this level with the day old essence. Um, and then a rune pouch with um, laws and souls in it, because we are going to be making use of the now updated Arceus spellbook. And what that's going to do is allow us to um, teleport close to a fairy ring. And then I also, as you just saw me use, use a Draken's Medallion to bank, uh, I think it's two or three times in a run. And then I use uh, Ring of Dueling to the Ferox Enclave on the third run to recharge my run energy. Um, and then I just put my Cosmics back in my in my rune pouch just, just because. Um, to kind of keep track of how many I get. And then, so we get out our, our, our full inventory, we fill up our pouches, we have our rune pouch ready, we use a hotkey, ideally, to get to the South Graveyard Teleport. And then equipped, we have our Cosmic Tiara, our Draymond Branch, Graceful otherwise, and then our Teleports. And then use Menu, menu Entry Swapper to swap this back to the normal Xenaris. Um, you basically just turn that off. And uh, and then I don't even know what the agility level is for this, um, but you ideally have this agility level or you have this other one. It's really you can see it's not that big of a time save um, and most people are going to have this this right agility level uh, that you need. And then I think it's like 60 or 70 for for that one. So it's not too bad. Um, and then we come through here. Uh, it's very simple, as you can see. And then on this run, because I actually think I have enough run energy to do another one because I was uh, AFKing a little bit. But um, we'll just run to Ferox Enclave um, and show you how that's done. So we just go here. I've got to get a new ring. Your rings don't run out very quickly, which is nice. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, so it's pretty simple. Um, not too bad of a method i um i came up with this myself i believe but you know it's not too crazy so it's not too hard to come up with um i hope you enjoyed i hope you found this interesting and useful if you're a low to mid level iron man like i am um i do have staminas but i also don't have that many staminas and i'm going to save them for blast furnace anyway so um and maybe questing uh, and um so I'm, I'm just kind of holding out on using staminas and this is the way i like to rune craft um by the way the same exact method works for nature runes using the fairy ring ckr i don't think it's really worth you making another video and showing clips of that again but um the nature rune method is the exact same except you usually have to bank at uh, Ferox to recharge your run energy uh, a little more often. Um, that's about the it's about the only difference. So that's all I have for you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. You can always unsubscribe later if you would like. And bye.